This screencast video will show you how to add a Zoom classroom to your loop page so that you can deliver live online lectures, tutorials and other types of virtual classes to your students. To add a Zoom classroom, go to your loop page and click the Turn Editing On button. Scroll down to a particular section of your loop course page. It might be an idea, in fact, to dedicate an entire section to the Zoom classroom. So you can see here in section three, I have called it Live Online Lectures. And I'm going to click the Add an Activity or Resource link to add a Zoom classroom to this section. In this Activity Chooser panel, let me just raise it up a bit so I can see more of it. On the left hand side, I'm going to scroll down all the available activities on Loop until I see Zoom Classroom. And I'm going to select it and click Add. Now we need to configure the Zoom Classroom. So let's call it a name, something perhaps like the module code. And online lectures. There are some other settings that can be configured, but all of them should be fine by default. So then just click Save and Display. Now we have created the actual classroom, but we haven't scheduled any classes yet. So within the Zoom classroom, I'm going to click Schedule a new meeting. Meeting is the generic term that Zoom uses to describe any sort of session coordinated within Zoom. These can, of course, be lectures, tutorials, collaboration sessions, meetings, and so on. After you click the button, you need to schedule your meeting. So give it a proper title. Give it a description, if you wish. Crucially, you need to set the time and the duration. You can choose to have your video on and off as the host. By default, the participant or the student's video is turned off when they enter the Zoom classroom, and that's probably the best configuration for them. You can also add an alternative host in here, for example, if you co-teach a lecture or a session with somebody, or if you are setting up a Zoom classroom on behalf of some part-time colleagues who are perhaps delivering individual sessions. And to do that, you would just enter in their DCU email addresses here. But I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And I can see now that that has been saved into the Zoom classroom. If I just go back to Course Meetings, I can see there it's scheduled in for Thursday the 19th of March. There's the topic and there's the unique ID. So when the 19th of March rolls around, all I need to do is click Start to start that particular meeting. If I want to add in subsequent lectures or tutorials or virtual classes, I just click the button to schedule a new meeting and follow those steps again. If I have been delivering classes through Zoom and if I have been recording them at the same time, I can access recordings by clicking the Cloud Recordings tab inside the Zoom classroom. And in here, I will see a list of all the recordings of my various online classes. Of course, I haven't delivered any online classes yet, so I don't have any recordings. But when I do, they'll be available in there. To go back out to your loop page, just click the course name in the breadcrumb trail. And scrolling back down, we can see the Zoom classroom has been added. And again, clicking back in once more, I can see there is my next class scheduled for next week. And again, I can click Start on the day and time in question to start that live class.